There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi, Caro here and welcome to Day 20's video where I'm going to show you how to set up a very basic AdWords pay-per-click account with Google. Now Ed spoke to you yesterday with regards to different strate strategies, <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied again, strategies you can use to attract traffic to your main ranking vehicle which is your WordPress direct blog and pay-per-click is one of the alternatives and Google pay-per-click is the biggest player in that market. Now I do a lot of pay-per-click advertising, it's not for everybody. I've made it work very 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 well with, for my niche. I am self-taught. I started in the 30-day challenge just as many of you are now. What I do want to say, and I think Ed has also impressed this upon you, that there is no guarantee that you will make money. So if you're on a tight budget, you really need to think hard whether you want to go down this path. There is a risk. Now I'm going to show you a very basic way to approach it. I'm going to also teach you what I know works very well. And so if you follow that, that's going to give you the best chance of success. And again, with AdWords, there is absolutely no guarantee. And having said that, it is not, I do not want to make it sound difficult. It really is about you taking the time to learn it as best and as thoroughly as you can yourself. Anyway, enough said, come this way. I'm going to take you on the journey as I am um, in your shoes, hopefully, just, um, you know, same as if I was a beginner as well. So anyway, come this way. Okay, so here we are at the AdWords website. All I did was type in Google AdWords into the search bar and it brought up, and, and then I chose the option and it brought up this page. Now I already have an AdWords account, so I'm going to do this and set up another account um, under, Ed, under the 30 day challenge um, email address. So let's do try AdWords now. I'm going to choose the standard edition. And I do have an email address already. And I would like to use that existing account. And it is 30 day challenge. And it is So here we are. What currency will you use to pay for this account? At this stage, I'm going to say Australian dollars. There's very little difference um, between the currencies. I have before, when I've set up a Google account, I have used US dollars. So for the majority of you, I'd suggest US dollars. Again, it's, it's your choice. You need to do the research in your exchange rates and everything like that. I've done this before in US dollars as well as Australian dollars. So I'm going to keep it at Australian dollars at the moment. Now Google has this, you are feeling sleepy and you will do what I say. Here we go. Create your first ad campaign. Log an email, that's correct. Your ad won't run until you submit your billing information, that's fine. Let's sign in to the account. And we want to create your first campaign. Language is English. Now the target that I'm currently targeting, I'm going to change it to the US. And I'm not going to stop there as well. I want to do custom. No, bundles. That's what I want. No, I want browse. I want Australia, Canada. I will leave it at that. So I've got the major English speaking countries there, UK, um, US and Australia and Canada. Now again, this is your choice with um, however many countries that you'd like to choose. And for those of you that are targeting maybe a country in your own language, again, you know, be led by that. Okay, as far as headline, I am going to put in vintage electric 
guitar. Maximum 25 characters. I wonder if I can fit in more vintage electric guitar news. No. So I'll leave it at that. Description. Um, what collectors must know? No. No, in fact, I'm going to change that. What I really try to do with my ads is have both a like a benefit in there as well as an attribute. So um, the benefit is don't get now. I quite like to type my ads like this. Don't get with capitals. Personal preference. You want to test all these different ways. So don't get ripped off. Um, don't get ripped off. Okay, I just paused. I didn't think you needed to see me um, tutter around with different ads. What I've done here is it's like the benefit is don't get ripped off. Get the best vintage electric guitar deal now. So I'm just going to start with that as the ad. Now I like to put in the destination URL first. So this is where it's going to. So I take out the H there. And then what I do on the display URL, see how it very nicely comes up there. I like to capitalize, and again, this is just personal preference. There are so many different ways to approach AdWords, and this is pay-per-click is really an environment for test, test, test. So vintage electric guitar blog. So what you do, and this is a mandatory always test that your link works. Ta-da! So that's what I do for every ad I make. I always test because it's so easy to have a link go wrong and Google will switch you off and it's sort of a bit like you have time out in the corner. Um, the world's not going to fall, the sky's not going to fall in if they do switch you off but it's just, you know, it's, it's one less piece of grief you can do without. So that's a good rule of thumb. Always test the URL. So let's continue. You are feeling sleepy. Oh, they're getting quick. Okay, now this is a personal preference, completely up to you, but I tend to type in as a negative keyword minus three. Now, you do not have to do that. I just find that it saves me quite a little bit, um, quite a lot of money on traffic. Your call. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully spell it correctly, and I'm typing in one keyword. And I'm going to type it in the three ways. Now, why I'm doing that, I'm just focusing on one keyword per ad group. Because how Google work now is it really to get the best love from Google with regards to your pay-per-click it is to be as optimized as possible so it's one keyword per ad group that's the strategy that we use for AdWords you may hear about other strategies and if you prefer them by all means trial them out for 30 day challenge this is the approach we're taking so vintage electric guitar continue Now, daily budget. Now, I'm going to freak you out. No, not. don't worry. That's not how much I spend a day. Um, I actually normally, personally, put in a daily budget of about $500. Um, now, I'm not recommending you do that. I'm going to put in a daily budget of $100. Now, if that freaks you out, do not do that. Why I'm putting in $100 is, again, love from Google. They tend to be more responsive to advertisers that are demonstrating that they're prepared to spend money. Now, if you do decide to spend $100, the onus is on you to really monitor your campaign and really watch what, you know, as, as the dollars um, tick over. It's up to you. Now, you know, as a newbie doing AdWords, I really recommend that you again that you do that. Um, I have never gone up to my 500 um, 
dollar limit in a day um, with AdWords. I have gone up to $100 um, in a day and, and over. But what I want to say to you is that, and that's because I've, I've got quite a major, um, some major campaigns in there. So really, it's, it's completely your call, but do monitor it. Now as far as bid, and this is something we're doing a maximum C per C, so this is the maximum price that you're prepared to pay. And I'm going to start off with 25 cents. Now again, your call. And what I always do is I view traffic estimator. Now in a lot of my niches, I'm only spending um, 10, 11 cents. Some ad groups I do spend 20, 25 cents. It's, it's depending on the keyword in the ad group. Why I'm putting in 25 cents at this stage is because I want to get a feel for you know how Google feels about my particular ad um, and ad group and campaign and everything like that. So um, I'm testing pay-per-click at the moment and that's what you'll be doing. So again, I cannot reiterate enough keep your eye on these. So let's look at view traffic estimator. So get new estimate, so I'll just move down. So that's suggesting how many clicks we're likely to get a, a day from um, pay-per-click advertising. And I'm likely to get in a good position there. So let's continue. And then we're going to continue to the billing stage. Actually, no, I'll set up billing later because I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like. So I always, always, always pause. And in fact, I'm also going to rename, I got a little bit carried away, I'm going to call this Vintage Electric. So now I'm going to have everybody doing this following back. So you can see there, sample keywords, um, the ad, and save changes. Voila! So I've paused that for now and then what I'll be doing when I want to resume, I just go like that. And to see these, this will show you how many clicks there are, how many impressions you get, and based on the clicks per impressions give you a click through rate in AdWords. Now, you know, way, way, way many, many moons ago in 2005 we were quite happy with a with a um, 0.5 or a 1%. Now you're really wanting to get CTRs in search because we're dealing with search traffic here. Um, we're wanting to get at least one 1.5% and above. Um, you know, I regularly get 4 and 5% CTRs. So this is about optimizing your ad and that's what's going to help you get some Google love. You'll also see how much you're spending on average, the cost that it's costing you and your average permission. Uh, position. So obviously we don't have figures in here now. Now the other thing I'm just, and again I'm a real double checker with things, so edit campaign settings. I want to make sure that I only have, aha, uh -huh. I don't want content on now, you don't want content on now. Thank you very much, but no. Why I'm saying that is really when you start to test an ad, you want to see whether it has traffic in search before you go on content. What content is, it's the ads that appear on other people's web pages. Search is what you see when you do a Google search on the right hand side or sometimes sponsored ads up the top. So you just want that. I'm going to keep search partners at this point. I'm not going to choose position preferences. You can, often with my own campaigns, I will choose position one to three. Um, ideally that's what you'd want. Because many of you are just starting out, let's, let's just leave that be for now. So optimize, display better performing ads. We've only put in one ad at this point. Checking the countries. So again, let's just have a look and a double check because this is what I want you to do. Let's call it vintage electric. No end date at this point, start date, standard, show ads evenly over time, maximum CPC, I'm doing search only, I haven't chosen position preferences at this point, I don't have ad scheduling on, optimize, display bit of performing ads, English, and then these are my countries, so save. 
Okay, back again. So that's how you set up a Google AdWords pay-per-click account and put in, again, you want one ad group. You've got your first campaign, which is your main keyword phrase. You have one ad group in there and you have one keyword per ad group in broad phrase and exact match. That's without brackets, with um, inverted commas and also with the square brackets. So um, again, the minus three completely up to you as is your choice to actually go ahead with pay-per-click. It's completely, this is not a mandatory in 30 day challenge. You do not have to do this. It is really whether you want to do this and please, it is your responsibility to monitor your, monitor your campaign very carefully. Okay, well it's been a delight as usual to bring you this video and I hope all is wonderful in your respective worlds. Take care, bye. There is no charge for awesomeness.